welcome to Telugu and Academy. In today's AP Geography, like in the di uh, district profiles of Andhra Pradesh, we're gonna look into the district of Vishakapatna. Economic zones, SCZs. So Duvada SCZ is a very famous SCZ near to uh, Gajuwaka, in between Gajuwaka and uh, Vishakapatnam. So Duvada is very famous SCZ of Vishakapatnam district. The government of Andhra Pradesh has established Andhra Pradesh special economic zones in Vishakhapatnam district, district for which it has acquired uh, 9200 acre cities in Rambilli and Achutapuram, Mandals of Vishakhapatnam. So we can see SCZs of near Rambilli and Vishakhapatnam, Achutapuram, Mandalam. So for an extent of for the procurement of these SCZs, government has planned so many things. So there are seven, 27 villages covering about 3,125 families are falling within the periphery of the land acquired including the Duppaturu village which was recently ordered for shifting by the PCNs MD. Okay, this, that's a process but we do have SCZ near Rambeli, Achitapuram. Next is Dovada. So the infrastructure works like formation of roads, drains, electricity, drinking, water school buildings, etc. Uh, are under the progress uh, process of the SCZs. Now coming to power. Power consumption by industries is 373.58 million kilowatts while 176.33 for agricultural purposes. All 5030 villages in the district include hamlets have been electrified including solar power system. So transport and communication. The district has a road length of uh, 79 to 7,926 kilometers of which national highways. We do have nearly national highways of 17.25 kilometers and state highways include 354.63 kilometers of state highways and rail network. Total district has 82 kilometers of rail network. State highways NH, NH5 or NH16 old name is NH5 and new one is NH16 17.25 kilometers and state highways 354.63 kilometers total coastal line of Vishakhapatnam length of Vishakhapatnam district is 132 kilometers now coming to the position of this district in various aspects uh, where does it stand in particularly in some aspects generally so in area in the total state it stands ninth position in area in the geographical extent in area it stands ninth position in total Andhra Pradesh population it stands fourth position in population total Andhra Pradesh next coming to in the whole state population density it stands sixth position in the state next population growth rate population growth rate it stands third position in the population growth rate literacy as we have seen it stands eighth position it's not a very good number good position it stands eighth sex ratio it stands sixth position in the sex ratio it has the visa it has the biggest natural harbor in asia and longest and biggest conveyor belt in Vishakhapatnam city in the state. Vishakhapatnam city has natural, biggest natural harbor. What is a natural harbor? Why, uh, what is meant by harbor? So, to park the ships in any port cities, what they do is dredging this dredging corporation. To park the ships, they uh, construct harbors with a particular depth and a particular channel so that all the ships from other countries all the big giant cargo ships or any other ships can enter that harbor safely because uh, but uh, for that the uh, purpose they dig as we know that uh, only if a ship has to travel in sea means it should have a particular depth or uh, other ways it will not it cannot sail half of three fourths of the ship will be under water imagine if this is the a giant cargo ship so three fourths of the ship will be in water it needs three fourths of that is the principle of buoyancy 
so if it doesn't have this much of uh, depth it cannot sail so for in deep seas or high seas means this is possible in deep seas or high seas as the depths of the sea will be very high so this will be possible but coming to the shores if you come to the shore this much of depths are not possible for that purpose dredging corporation there is a company called dredging corporation they do dig they do dig the silt or sand near the coast and they make it deep harbors see uh, if a ship is sailing here if a ship is sailing in the deep seas means obviously there will be a desired depth for the ship to sail but a ship is near the port then you can see the silt it cannot enter the port as there is so much of silt and sand near the coast for this purpose dredging corporation they do dredge dredge means dig they do dig the silt and sand in the particularly port or harbor area so that ship can uh, have a convenient depth for ship to sail and enter the port but in visakhapatnam port this uh, there is no need of this dredging because of two hills because of two one stream and two hills that is dolphin nose and the rosemary rose hill ross hill one is ross hill another one is dolphin's nose this is a dolphin's nose this is a hill it looks in the shape of the and this is the ross hill this is a high seas bay of bengal and this is the visakhapatnam harbor because of this two hills vizag port has a vizag harbor is a natural harbor they naturally created a depth a desirable depth for the ships to enter uh, enter in the harbor that's the reason visakhapatnam port is called a natural harbor visakhapatnam harbor is called a natural harbor so uh, it's a biggest natural harbor in asia and the longest it has uh, longest conveyor belt conveyor belt means uh, from a particular from steel plant or from in any industry to from to the port to the visakhapatnam port uh, to travel the like uh, material it could be raw material or the processed material they do they send through conveyor belts it, it has the biggest conveyor belt in the state it has the biggest conveyor belt in the state so uh, Visakhapatnam district is a leading producer of bauxite in the state. It is a leading producer of bauxite and second position in monazite reserves in the country and first in the states. In monazite reserves, uh, Visakhapatnam district stands second. In the state, it stands first. It has biggest natural seaport in the country. It has biggest natural seaport. Uh, it is famous for even ethnic Atikoppa, Atikoppa ka dolls, dolls made up of wood. They are even world famous. Next, Duduma Falls are one of the uh, banks on rivers of Marchkan. Duduma Falls on the rivers of Marchkan, on the river of Marchkan, famous waterfalls. Next, first sugar cane uh, research center was established in Ankapalli. Ankapalli is famous for uh, good. That is called jaggery. Ankapalli is very famous for jaggery because it has the uh, sugar cane. It, it has the qu good quality of sugar cane and highest production of sugar cane. Next, first petroleum institute was started in Vishakhapatnam in Andhra University. Next, first law university also in Vishakhapatnam district only. Next, NF16 runs, National Highway 16 runs 116 kilometers passing through the district. First sugar mill. First sugar mill was established in the state in, in Vishakhapatnam district that is in Eti Koppaka in 1933. So other natural resources of uh, Vishakhapatnam district are like natural resource means uh, rivers, crops or minerals. What does it contain? It uh, rivers, it has Sharda river, Matsagadda, Varaha, Tandava, 
పర్ప గోస్తని చంపావతి మెఘాద్రి గడ్డ నెల్లిమర్ల అండ్ మార్చ్కన్ ఆర్ ది రివర్స్ విచ్ ఫ్లో విచ్ డ్రెయిన్ దిస్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ కమింగ్ టు మేజర్ క్రాప్స్ ఐ హెవ్ సీన్ ప్యాడీ మేజ్ బాజా రాగి షుగర్ కేర్ గ్రౌండ్నట్ అండ్ ప్యాడీ నెక్స్ట్ మినరల్స్ ఆల్రెడీ వీ హెవ్ సీన్ మోనోజైట్ బాక్సైట్ ఎపిటైట్ మ్యాంగనటైట్ మైకా అండ్ క్లే ఆర్ ది మేజర్ మినరల్స్ ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ దిస్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ సో ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ ఇరిగేషనల్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ ఇన్ ద డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఆఫ్ విశాఖపట్నం ఇట్ హ్యాస్ తాండవ ప్రాజెక్ట్ రాయవాడ ప్రాజెక్ట్ కోనాం ప్రాజెక్ట్ పెద్దేరు ప్రాజెక్ట్ రావణపల్లి ప్రాజెక్ట్ జాజిగడ్డ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఉట్టుగడ్డ ప్రాజెక్ట్ దీస్ ఆర్ ది మేజర్ ప్రాజెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ విశాఖపట్నం నౌ కమింగ్ టు టూరిస్ట్ అట్రాక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ విశాఖపట్నం వాట్ ఆర్ ద టూరిస్ట్ అట్రాక్షన్స్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ డూ హ్యావ్ వైజాగ్ హ్యాస్ సో మచ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లోర్ విశాఖపట్నం ఈజ్ అ వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ప్లేస్ పీపుల్ డూ విజిట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ ఇండియా ఎస్పెషల్లీ ఫ్రమ్ ద నార్త్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ ఒడిస్సా అండ్ వెస్ట్ బెంగాల్ సో మెనీ పీపుల్ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ దే డూ విజిట్ విశాఖపట్నం డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ అండ్ పర్టికులర్ ద సిటీ ఆఫ్ విశాఖపట్నం అరకు అండ్ ద అరకు ఏజెన్సీ ఏరియా సో ఇట్ హ్యాస్ సో మచ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లోర్ అండ్ ద టెంపరేచర్ ఆఫ్ వైజాగ్ ఈజ్ లైక్ థర్టీ సిక్స్ డిగ్రీస్ average temperature is 30 degrees but being in a coastal city it is very sultry a very sweaty very uh, very humid kind of temperature visakhapatnam district has humid kind of temperatures apart from the hilly tracks or the agency areas these plains or coastal areas are very humid very sultry very sweaty uh, all the time you see like you can see feel like as if you are uh, just come out from a shower so in summers not only in summers in almost all the seasons it's sultry and sweaty only but after evening like evening hours near f- after 4 and 5 it gets very uh, the temperature uh, climb uh, weather will change to a very cool breeze bree- uh, breezing weather so you can enjoy the weather in the morning and the afternoon uh, times the weather uh, cli- weather will be very sultry and humidity humidity but after 4 to f- after 4 and 5 pm the weather is very enjoyable so um, uh, tourist attractions of visakhapatnam are ramkrishna beach that is rk beach or ramkrishna beach that is in the heart of this city so it is located in the heart of this city with a length of 3.7 kilometers the stretch of this beach is 3.7 kilometers um, almost vishaka utsav uh, so many uh, festivals are conducted in this in this stretch of this beach only in this uh, rk beach stretch only next rishikonda beach all the beaches all the beaches in vishakhapatnam from uh, like uh, yeah, like dolphin snows to bhimli are very famous from every uh, beach is uh, a tourist spot only tourist attraction a tourist spot next is rishikonda beach rishikonda beach it's nearly 48 kilometers from the city from the core city it is a stretch of 8 kilometers and it is very famous for high tide waves it is famous for high tide waves um, all the tourist spots all the resorts are located in rishikonda beach next one is bhimali beach bhimuni patnam or bhimali beach it is 25 kilometers away from the core city from the uh, visakhapatnam city it's a beautiful tourist destination and it has the second oldest municipality second oldest municipality means bhimali municipality is the second oldest municipality in the country itself so uh, still we can see dutch settlements if you go to bhimali we can see dutch settlements means prior to independence dutch, uh, dutch people uh, used to rule this place bhimali like uh, they uh, their settlements are like kind of monuments in the bhimali so this is also very famous tourist attraction the drive the drive from rk beach to bhimli is very enjoyable next dolphin snows dolphin snows is a very natural attraction and a very strategical uh, attraction why i called it as a strategical means because of its shape 
It exactly looks like a dolphin. Dolphins. See, how does a dolphin look? A dolphins look somewhere the more or less like this. Even this hillock, this hillock is the shape of this hillock is like dolphin. Because of this, in 2004, uh, tsunami, when the tsunami hit the uh, coastal regions of South India, especially in the Bay of Bengal regions, all the uh, like Tamil Nadu has been totally devastated. But Vizag, in spite of being a coastal area, Vishakapatnam, there was not, we, can't, we cannot, we have not seen that much of destruction only because of dolphin snows. Because of this dolphin snows, it, it, it stopped entering high waves or tsunami waves into the coastal areas of the city. So dolphin snows is naturally a scenic beauty and it uh, saved so many lives from 2004 tsunami. So it is a hill between Yarada and Gangavaram port. It's a uh, there is a place called Yarada and Gangavaram port is a, a small port. So it is a place between Yarada and Gangavaram port, named after dolphin because hill resembles dolphin. It resembles more or less like a dolphin. So a uh, dolphin snows is also very tourist, uh, very famous tourist attraction. People love to go there, watch this place. Next one is Lawson's Bay. Lawson's Bay is a uh, locality or the region in the heart of the city of the uh, in uh, uh, Vishakhapatnam city. It's a locality actually, like any other localities, but it has a splendid beaches like uh, towards Kailashgiri. It is famous for surfing and sea bathing. It is famous for surfing. You know, see, they they have created an artificial surfing, so it is famous for surfing and sea bathing. Next, Kailashgiri. Kailashgiri uh, is a hillock, a small hillock near to Vishak, uh, like near to Lawson's Bay Colony. So it has idols, very huge idols of Parvati and Parameshwara. Parvati and Parameshwara. For that thing, people do visit that hillock. It has even cable cars. Cable car means ropeways. It has even ropeways. On the, it's a great tourist attraction. Next, Simhachalam. Uh, the religious abode of Sri Lakshmi Narasimha Swami Temple. Simhachalam is a religious abode of abode of Sri Lakshmi Narasimha Swami Temple. So tourists mostly from Odisha and all over AP do visit this Simhachalam Temple. There is a famous Utsavam or uh, conducted once in every year that is called Chandana Orpu or Chandana Utsavam. So many lakhs of devotees visit the particular uh, on the particular day to this Simhachalam Narsimha Swami temple. Next, Totlakonda. Totlakonda is a Buddhist Aramam near uh, on the way to Rishikonda. So uh, old Buddhist Aramas. Totlakonda is a Buddhist Aramam. Next, Kambala Konda Wildlife Sanctuary. Kambala Konda Wildlife Sanctuary. It's near to the Indira Gandhi Geological Park. Uh, almost outskirts to the city of Vishakhapatnam. So, a, va a vast forest reserve located near Indira Gandhi Geological Park. That is Kambala Konda. Next, Erramatti Dibalu Red Sand Hills. These are very famous favorite spots for all the uh, movie, for the movie locations. So, Erramatti Dibalu, right, they are notified geo heritage monuments on the way of Bhimali. They are notified, they come under Geo heritage sites or geo heritage monuments. Erra, Erra Matti Dibbal. They call it Erra Iska Dibbal. Erra Matti Dibbal. Next, Arku Valley. Arku Valley is 112 kilometers away from Vizag city. It is a pleasant hilly station. It is called Uti of Andhra Pradesh. It is called as Uti of Andhra Pradesh. There is another place in uh, near Arku Valley. Uh, like... Uh, 50, 50 kilometers or 30 kilometers near to Arku Valley that is called Lambasingi. Lambasingi. Lambasingi near to Arku. Uh, here temperatures will decrease, uh, fall near to minus 2, minus 1 degree, degrees. So in every January, in winter season, so many tourists from all over Vizag district 
do visit this place this is called shimla sorry kashmir of andhra kashmir of andhra means lambasinghi and next uh, um, uti of andhra means arku valley next are borra caves borra caves are the natural uh, lime lime uh, limestone caves on the way to arku valley these are very huge uh, caves near the near to on the way to arku valley next one is taida jungle bells nature camp it is also on the way to arku valley it's a small village in eastern ghats near arku valley next one is ins kursura ins kursura is a submarine is a submarine which has been turned into a museum submarine museum one of its kind it is in the ramkrishna beach it is on the uh, shores of the ramkrishna beach it's a submarine museum next like uh, we can see um, we have seen already arco valley tribal area and hill area resort location of borra caves located 1400 meters above sea level with fascinating Uh, stalactites and stalagmites in borra caves uh, there is a geographical phenomena as water for so many thousands or hundreds of year drop bed of it falls from the uh, top of the cave then a phenomena called a relief called stalactites will be formed if a drop water drops and these are stalactites and these are these are accumulation of the water drops these are formed because of the accumulation of the water drops for so many thousands of years and these are stalagmites these are stalactites and these are stalagmites uh, prehistoric tools from about a million years ago have also been discovered in the caves so historically Our uh, Borra caves are very important. Next, Kailash Giri Park on a hill overlooking the sea and the city. Dolphins, snow, panoramic view, oldest lighthouse in the wide side. Beach is Ramkrishna Beach, Rishikonda, Vyarada, Lawson Sea Beach. Submarine Museum that is called INS Kursura. Simha Chalan Temple, temple for the Narasimha Avatar of Lord Vishnu combines Kalinga and South Indian architectural styles. It is at least from the 11th century and have been. patronized by various rulers including krishna deva raya so these are some pictures of the uh, tourist attractions or tourist locations of isaac this is the scenic view from kalashgiri uh, kalashgiri hill next is this is kambala konda this is a view of kambala konda and rope way to kalashgiri rope way to kalashgiri let's cable car or rope way Next one is this is INS Kursura, which has been converted into submarine museum. INS Kursura, uh, it's a real submarine. It has been converted into submarine museum, one of its kind. It is on the shores of the RK Beach. Next, this is the view of the uh, uh, Kailash Giri, like uh, Parvati Parmeshwara idols on the hillock. Next, this is these are the this is a picture of the Borra Caves. so limestone caves we have seen so these are the stalactites if you observe properly this formations this kind of drapes or curtains are the stalactites which come from the floor those are the stalagmites and uh, this is simhachalan temple sri lakshmi narsimha swami temple and this is lambasinghi this is lambasinghi in the season of this this picture is in the season of in the month of uh, january so um, you can see something looks like kashmir only minus 2 minus 1 degrees and uh, this is the way to arku valley this is how you travel to arku valley uh, almost you will be crossing nearly 10 to 15 caves now we do have even vista dome train also vista dome train means uh, transparent train it's a uh, like glass train normal train means it is covered by like bogies or uh, compartments vista dome train is totally transparent like everything you can uh, watch not only from the windows you can watch everywhere from ev through everywhere these are the entrance of the borra caves this is the main entrance of the borra caves you have to uh, 
uh, walk through nearly 100, 100 steps then you will be entering to the uh, like what do you say underground like sub uh, sub sub regions next this is bhimli this is the view of the bhimli how does this bhimli beach looks yeah another one like uh, a ship from bangladesh a cargo ship from bangladesh that is called mv ma it has come to the coast of vishakhapatnam near tenneti park so uh, it has been like uh, it is being under construction as a hotel now this particular ship that is mv ma of bangladesh that cargo ship of bangladesh is being constructed into a star hotel like kind of a star hotel so now these are the tourist attractions of vishakhapatnam district now coming to the important personalities some of the important personalities of vishakhapatnam like tenneti vishwanatham tenneti vishwanatham uh, he is uh, he is from vishakhapatnam district he is a very big freedom fighter he have donated all his land all his uh, property in bhudan movement on his name only a park called tenneti park now we have seen a ship uh, bangladeshi ship mv ma in that particular park only that ship has come from bangladesh so a park has been named on sri tenneti vishwanatham that's called tenneti park next coming to shri 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 rangam shrinivas famous progressive writer or the famous revolutionary writer or ignited he he is a uh, revolutionary writer he ignited so many revolutionary spirit in telugu poets of the 20th century so shri shri uh, shri rangam shrinivas shortcut he is also hails from vishakhapatnam district next one is arudra arudra uh, bhagavadala sadashiva shankara shastri popularly known as arudra he is a very famous cinematic uh, lyricist known for his lyrics in Telugu cinema. Next one is Srivanala Sita Ramasastri. He also hails from Vishakhapatnam district only. He is also very famous uh, lyricist of Telugu cinema. Next, uh, upcoming projects of Vishakhapatnam district. What are the upcoming projects like upcoming developments in this particular district? Vishakhapatnam International Airport that is Bogapuram Airport. We can see Bogapuram Airport. Next, BCIC, Vishaka, Vishakhapatnam Chennai Industrial Corridor, Industrial Node. Next one is IAM. IAM is proposed in the Gambiragadda of Vishakhapatnam uh, district near to Vizag city only. Next, Indian Institute of Foreign Trade. Next, Mega ITM. Electronics Manufacturing Hub, Innovation and Incubation Hub, Exhibition Come Convention Center, Gangavaram LNG Terminal. These are the upcoming projects of the Vishakhapatnam district. So, this is how the district looks like. Focus sectors. Uh, government of AP has focused on textile and apparel industries, electronics and IT, metallurgy, engineering and life sciences in this particular district in this particular district of vishakhapatnam government has focused on these particular sectors main focus is on particular sectors this is how the district looks like thank you